This video is sponsored by Audible. Hello, hello, it's Echo, just in case you're new here. Welcome to the last video that I plan to make in this decade. I hope that you generally survived your 2019. Hopefully the 20s will be better. So in our household, we don't really celebrate Christmas. We celebrate a made up holiday called Dogmas, which is really just an excuse for us all to buy gifts for our dogs. Mama, you have any good Dogmas? She's got a stash. There you go, you did it. It's a lot of fun. This is a video that's been requested a couple times, like for the last two or three years. Sometimes people will think that the set behind me is a tiny room when in fact it is a desk. This is actually going to be a double desk tour because I happen to have two desks. This is more of my set desk. My work desk is in the office area. So let's go ahead and start with this one, which is my smaller just kind of like bedroom desk. And here it is. Uh, we're just gonna start from here and move over still. Usually where Phoenix sits, uh, this is actually a stack of watercolor paper. And this is a Halloween decoration. This is not how bones work. Also, this is my bed. Um, I sleep on top of that. And then Christmas lights naturally because I'm a YouTuber. This is a desk lamp that I got on Amazon. Another Halloween decoration. This is a Titan mug that I got at a Comic Con. Um, I use it for pens now because I used it once and the glaze on the inside started to crack. So I don't trust it for liquids anymore. Uh, these little coffins I painted forever ago. This one is full of gauges. So these are just earrings that I wear in my videos. I have no idea what's in this one. Oh, bracelets. Oh, that's from high school. I painted that with nail polish. That one's just a nostalgic box. This is a candle I've had sitting here forever and I am gonna take it to the other room because I actually want to use it. I'm very into candles right now. Maple pumpkin cream, yum. And then this is my fancy silver play button, of course, which is being guarded by my teeth bear. Another Halloween decoration. The spider's also a Halloween decoration. This is from a previous video, uh, 20 awesome points if you know what it's from. This little jar was a Christmas gift and it's just full of chains. So these are two little drawing figurines that were in a video from forever ago. This mug is actually from the dollar store and that's just a YouTube sticker. It is not a YouTube official mug. And then on top of my little drawer I have this hello hello sign. Um, it's literally just two hello signs that I found being discounted at Walmart. This little black and red raccoon is a gift from my younger sister. She got it out of a prize grab machine. This is Plarm. Uh, this was a gift that someone gave me at VidCon a couple years ago. And then over here we have kind of a random assortment. So these are skulls that I got from various places. They're just Halloween decorations. This is a rabbit that I repainted. I bought it specifically because the paint job was so bad that I really wanted to fix it. This little figure was actually my mother's. It's one of the few possessions of hers that I have. This is a shell casing from the first bullet that I ever fired because I'm an American. This is just a cute eraser I really liked. This was a gift from Betsy. It's just a lot of things that are very me. Starbucks, Black and Red, and Arizona. This is just an Elsa doll's head that I was kind of experimenting with in terms of painting and playing with the eyes. Oh my god, cameras are heavy. And then let's have a look inside of my fancy drawers. So this drawer has a bunch of my travel stuff. These are just SIM cards for when I go to London or London VidCon and stuff like that. This one is just a box of studs. Studs and a belt buckle and just a bunch of pins. My Gishwis runner-up medals and more studs. Fun times. And then in this one, is all of my nail stuff. Most of which I don't actually use, but when I do wear fake nails, I keep all of the stuff for them in here. Second level. So this drawer is mostly full of speaker stuff and like camera equipment. So I've got like a small lens in here, um, another microphone back there, and then some like muffs to cover them and stuff. This one is my drawer of Funko Pops. What I used to do is that I would change out my Funko Pops in this corner, and then I put this guy here and I never changed him out. I believe his name is Gerald. I should actually start putting these guys back. And then I also got another one recently at a convention. It's Venom Pool. Oh, so nice. At some point, I will put these guys on display. And then this last large bottom drawer is just cords and miscellaneous stuff. 
got Benadryl for allergies. I've got like power converters, um, a bunch of cords, just general stuff. Most of this is just uh, for making videos. And then we have the actual drawers of my desk. This is stuff I have to make a video about soon. So in the top drawer, this is kind of a junk drawer. I've got like spare glasses, um, postcards, my Apple pen boxes, paper clips, erasers, sh pencil sharpeners, a lot of hand sanitizer, some like razor blade stuff. This was my grandmother's uh, casino lanyard. I just kind of keep it as like a sentimental thing. Also all of my red and black dice. So this drawer is mostly craft stuff. I have a really big sketchbook that I'm like terrified to write anything in. And then each one of these little bags has like a different type of pen or pencil. And then I've got a million popsicle sticks, a bunch of chameleon markers I need to make a video on, uh, paint and glue, oil paints for a video. Um, a lot of this is like future video supplies. This was an old Monster High doll that I was gonna make eyes and a wig for and I didn't finish them. And then the bottom drawer. So these are a bunch of headbands and things that I bought because I wanted to wear them in videos and then I never did. And then here is where I have all of the dolls that I wanted to repaint and customize. This is a big set of pens and pencils. This is just miscellaneous garbage. I really need to empty this out. And then that is all of my chalk pastels. And that is pretty much it for this entire desk. It's pretty straightforward. Um, my other desk is a lot bigger. Before we go into the office area, which is actually just a converted dining room, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor and the last sponsor of 2019. Thank you for watching all of the sponsored content that I've been posting throughout December. We've been doing a ton of sponsors throughout December because we don't know what to expect in 2020. YouTube is very up in the air right now, so we're just kind of being cautious. You know, better safe than sorry. Uh, I do have subcontractors that I like to keep alive. I'm sure you've heard of Audible before. They sponsor a ton of really great content on YouTube. It's a great place to listen to audiobooks. Audible's super nice because your books are like yours to keep, so you can go back and re-listen to them whenever you want, even if you cancel your membership. They also have a lot of Audible originals, which are exclusive content created by celebrated storytellers from all over the place. Theater, journalism, literature, etc. Hannah recently recommended the audiobook Essentialism, a disciplined pursuit of less. By forcing us to apply a more selective criteria for what is essential, the disciplined pursuit of less empowers us to reclaim control of our own choices about where to spend our precious time and energy. Which is good because I tend to say yes to a lot of things and then my time ends up wearing very thin. I feel like it would be a very useful audiobook for like freelancers and artists because our time is very flexible and requires a lot of management. Really anyone self-employed. You can get your first audiobook for free plus two Audible originals when you go to audible.com slash Echo Gillette or if you're in the US you can text Echo Gillette to 500 500. That's E-C-H-O-G-I-L-L-E-T-T-E -T -T -E to 500 500 to get your first audiobook for free and two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. So let's go into the office area and have a look at my bigger desk. And this is my main work desk. It's two desks combined and a file cabinet. Let's start here with my file cabinet. So this is some stuff that I need to just like take to other rooms and stuff. This was a Christmas gift. It's a bunch of lotions and stuff and that needs to go into the bathroom, I believe. This is a case full of memory cards that I use for filming and recording and my Dearest dog, it's chewing on a rawhide. So in the top drawer of this cabinet, I have a bunch of blank pieces of wood and general painting stuff. This is pretty much all for just acrylic painting. These will make sense in a sec. I'll explain why I have all these. The second drawer has some watercolor pads and then some stuff from the Jazza art box. So these are Faber-Castell colored pencils and a random assortment of pens and pencils and stuff. These are containers that I use for watercolor, some super glue, and then just more pens. 90% of this desk tour is just gonna be art supplies, fair warning. The third drawer is sketchbooks, most of which only have like three or four drawings. This one is completely blank. I'm saving that one. Also stickers. 
And then the bottom drawer is the only one that actually has files. This is where I keep all of my business receipts and tax stuff. I've got color for each quarter and some sandpaper for when I wanna sandpaper my eyes out after doing my taxes, like in a Adult. And then over here we have a random assortment of garbage. I've got a hair clip, some thread, a nail file my sister gave me, a stamp, washi tape, some sewing stuff, a cute little book, some matches for candles. And then on the second shelf I have the Atlas of Human Anatomy and Surgery with a little blocko sticker. Peak male performance right there. This is a blank bullet journal I'm going to try and start eventually. And the Tremors DVD set because I like Tremors. This Venom mug was a Christmas gift from Hannah. I really like Venom. This is usually where I pile all of my receipts until I eventually sort them into my filing system. And then here we have an old Chewy Bunny figure that I made when I was in high school guarding a little chest which has my tooth in it. There you go, you can have it back. This is where I put all of the SD drives that need to be cleared as I eject them from my computer. This is my assortment of organized post-its as opposed to my unorganized ones, but we'll get there in a sec. And then most of these books are actually blank. This one I got from VidCon. This one is a blank comic uh, sketch journal. This is a calendar, small sketchbook. This is the only book that's actually on this shelf and it is Japanese in 30 hours. These are the pens and pencils that I use on a daily basis. That gross cup is my paint water that needs to be dumped out. And then I've got a bunch of random kana flashcards. In the center here we have my desk area. That's a poster that my friend Chloe made. I'm in it, I'm right there. Look at how cute that is. And then just all my magnets and organization stuff, some kanji I was learning and Pumpkin! Up here we have my plant, which does not have a name at the moment. Mr. Ake, a little art piece that I made recently. Some Artist Loft, Master's Touch, and Apple Barrel acrylic paints. This is just a small assortment of some of the ones I have. Here we have a Deadpool print that Hannah gave me for Christmas because she's sweet and she knows my taste. That's a bunch of clay doll pieces that I've been sculpting that I need to finish. And then here we have some of my favorite shelves. This is where I keep all of my nail polishes. I've managed to cut down my collection so that this is all I own. Uh, tweezers, razor blades, eyeliner, just stuff for my face. And this adorable little figure I got in New York at a ramen place. I think Toki is currently my favorite desk ornament ever, although Mr. Ake is, is pretty up there. On the next shelf, we have a box full of hard drives. I probably have about 10 terabytes worth of hard drives. I save a lot of footage that I really need to delete. I need to work on decluttering those. My stack of post-its because I go through those fairly quickly. A bunch of jewelry that I need to give to my sister. Stickers, lip balm, and a bunch of stuff to pick at my teeth because I do that sometimes when I'm sitting here and I'm bored. And these are my two favorite Jeffree Star lip colors. I believe it is Celebrity Skin and Family Jewels. Those are currently the lip colors that I wear on a regular basis. I'm the kind of person who will buy one really nice piece of makeup and then just use it until it's gone. And then here we have my post-it idea wall and whatnot. This is just chaos. Hannah is not a fan of my post-it pile. Understandably, this is my big mug of tea, which is now gone. Now, I actually have a mega desk, so although that's the end of this desk, my second second desk is just beginning. So, these are some paintings that I was working on. That one's finished. This one still has a bit to go. The entire reason that I actually made these paintings was so that I could practice varnishing, and that's why these are sitting out. I've got some matte spray varnish, an isolation coat, a bunch of little stuff that I'm gonna try. And then here is one of the wooden pieces from the file cabinet. This is something that I'm actually going to use as a test piece for all of this varnish. So this is the other thing that I use the little wooden pieces for, is a sample canvas. So when you plan to varnish acrylic, apparently what you're supposed to do is have a small sample canvas of all of the colors, and then you varnish that first so that you can see how the varnish affects all of the colors. So that is currently what all of those are for. This is my box of premium Arteza watercolors and this is my box of acrylic. This one is painted with apple barrel so it has more of a matte finish. This one is painted with the Arteza acrylic paint so it's a little bit glossy. And then on this shelf we have a bunch of hand sanitizer, a little Gurr keychain that someone gave me at VidCon London, I believe. My Felix Grey glasses, which are very nice. And then here we have some business cards and some mints. Down from that, I have been experimenting with Gamasol Mineral Spirits and uh, 
colored pencils, my box of razor blade knives, some tea from David's Tea. Lavender buttercream is probably my favorite tea from David's right now. Stamps, Ikea stuff, and old gift cards. And then here we have all of my paintbrushes. These are from Walmart and Sam's Club because I go through paintbrushes very quickly so I have to buy cheap ones. These are all of my note cards and envelopes for my patrons. I'm behind on my patron rewards. I need to send them out soon. Holiday seasons are chaos. The sketchbook that I'm currently using the most. A roll of paper towels for paint mostly. And then this is where I file other uh, just important paperwork. And also my iPad and Apple Pencil. Turtle Tea is another place where I get a bunch of my tea from. The woman who runs it is like an independent tea maker. And then these were a bunch of dolls that I was going to customize. I only started on that one, but I'm probably just going to donate them because I don't think I'm going to have time or the willpower to actually do anything with them. And then I don't know if you've noticed, but this shelf looks an awful lot like the one that is sitting on top of my desk. That is because both of them are from Ikea. And I just, this one is a bunch of pins and clay. This one is all of my printer ink cartridges, which I need to get refilled. This one is miscellaneous paper clips. Oh, candy. I hide candy from myself around my desk. It's really stupid, but it makes me happy. There's like needles, small craft bags and stuff. This one is postcards that I send back and forth with Chloe and stuff. My lovely friend in the UK. This is all for carving wood and foam and sculpting clay and jewelry, I guess. And then the bottom drawer is just very large wooden dowels and chopsticks. I had no other place to put them and this drawer fit them. And then over here, this is the drawer that I probably use the most. This is scissors, all of my charging cables, a pet egg my sister gave me, screen cleaning cloths, rulers. Underneath that, we have a bunch of different kinds of tape, um, some frames, a hot glue gun, my monster clay, nail polish remover, and then I want to say those tubs are actually empty. They're just for storage. I almost never get into this drawer. And then the last drawer I have is a bunch of random paperwork and stuff. This is probably the most junk drawer of all the junk drawers I have. The only things that I actually access on a regular basis are uh, this webcam, my rubber band ball, and these measuring tapes. This is where I hide all of the paper I don't want to look at anymore. And then underneath that we have my terrible printer and all of my blank canvases. And that is it. That's the whole desk. Not that fancy. Thank you for coming with me on this wonderful journey through my workspace. It's been mildly interesting, but I think that is everything that I have for you for this decade. So I'm gonna go sleep for a week. So many big ideas for 2020. I'm gonna give you 2,020 awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video. Once again, if you go to audible.com forward slash Echo Gillette or text Echo Gillette 500 500, you can get one free audiobook and two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. I hope that you have a great new year and I will see you later. Goodbye.